Hey, it's Aaron, and it turns out that uh, Canada is currently having a massive water crisis, unbeknownst to basically everyone because the data just recently got released, at least to a large amount of the public, uh, in the last couple of hours, and this shit is a little bit scary if you ask me. So it turns out that Pretty much every city all across Canada is showing signs of lead poisoning in the water, very similar to what we've seen in and around 2014 in Flint, Michigan, during the height of the water crisis. Obviously, Flint was a little bit different because not only did it have the problem of being poisoned by lead, it also had the problem of having bacteria content as well, which made the water very much undrinkable. We don't here have the same bacteria content, but there is the same problem with extremely high lead levels. Now, in the United States, they usually have uh, an acceptable amount of lead in and around, I think it was 10 parts per billion, 10 or 15 parts per billion. Here in Canada, some of the places, some of the cities, some of the provinces, um, have an acceptable lead level of five parts per billion, though if you ask any researcher that knows anything about this, um, the only acceptable level of lead is zero because it can cause all kinds of major problems. It can cause um, all kinds of mental de defects within children and babies. It can also cause hypertension uh, and um, sterility. I believe it was sterility or at least reproductive loss, all sorts of other problems um, with adults. And it's extremely bad. You can become anemic from it. Basically, from what I understand, the way lead attacks your body is lead, the compound, is very similar to iron, and it'll actually bind to the receptors in your body that would usually take in iron, basically blocking your body from being able to receive that iron because the lead is there in its place. I might have the, the science wrong a little bit on that, but that's basically how it's been explained to me. Currently, the lead levels in Canada, everywhere that's been tested, has been above 5%, or uh, sorry, 5 um, parts per billion. And in some places, specifically some places in the prairies, uh, Saskatoon, one of the cities that are in uh, a, a province called Saskatchewan, their lead levels are as high as 30 parts per billion. And like I said, anything at all is too much, and above 15 was around what they had in Flint, Michigan during the height of the water crisis. That's relative numbers. I'm sure that some places were higher, some places were lower, but generally from what I've read in the news, that's basically where it's been at. So Canada is under a water crisis. Absolutely fantastic. This is unbelievable. So it turns out we have to uh, be filtering our water. I believe that some filters are able to take out 99.9% .9 of the lead that's in the water, though that isn't really um, that reassuring to anybody because, you know, we've had this crisis since before 2017, apparently. Um, and if we just found out about the research from 2017 now, then that means that the problem has existed since before 2017, so everybody who's been drinking municipal water has been being infected by lead. Really, really interesting. Oh, and um, when you go onto the government website and you try to find out if you can get your home uh, tap tested to find out if you have exceeded the lead levels that uh, are um, uh, uh, safe in your area, uh, you basically have to go through a whole bunch of hoops just to get the test. They aren't providing to them to the public for free. Of course they're not. Um, and then once you do get the test, they're doing everything they possibly can to make sure that the uh, results of those tests are not spread uh, openly to the public. So there are very few uh, actual, um, that there is a very small amount of actual information out there explaining how much of the uh, world, of, of uh, sorry, of Canada, is actually affected by this. So it's a pretty scary situation for anybody who happens to be dr drinking municipal water in Canada. Uh, if you live in Canada, I would suggest that you unfortunately have to either purchase bottled water or get some sort of filtration device that gets rid of the lead. 
Um, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, get this shit solved because I know a lot of people right now that just found out about this and they are angry as hell and they want to go start marching in the streets about it. So I hope that starts happening pretty soon because I'll fucking definitely be there. Uh, which I, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so that's my show. My name is Aaron. If you do get a chance, please check me out on Patreon. Every dollar does help fund this show. Oh my fucking God. And thanks for watching.